Hi, this is Ms. Goldstick from PS11. Today I'm going to be reviewing how to use the area model to solve multiplication problems. As you learned in third grade, the area of a rectangle is length times width. We are going to use that to help us solve multiplication problems with one-digit numbers times four-digit numbers. The problem I'm going to solve is six times 4,562. First, I'm going to estimate the product. This will help me know if my final product is reasonable. I'm going to round 4,562 to 5,000. 6 times 5,000 is 30,000. So the final product of 6 times 4,562 should be pretty close to 3,000. Now I'm going to draw the rectangle that I will use to find the product or area. Next, I will assign 6 as the width. For the length, I'm not just going to put 4,562 up on the top because I have no idea what 6 times 4,562 is. So to make the problem easier, I'm going to write the, the number out in expanded form. Now I'm going to find the area of each of the pieces of my rectangle. The first piece has a width of 6 and a length of 4,000. 6 times 4,000 is 24,000. The next piece has a width of 6 and a length of 500. 6 times 500 is 3,000. The third piece has a width of 6 and a length of 60. 6 times 60 is 360. The last piece has a width of 6 and a length of 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Now that I have all of the partial areas of I'm, uh, now that I have all of the partial areas, or the area of each part, I'm going to add them all together to find the total area, which is also my product. 24,000 plus 3,000 plus 360 plus 12 equals 27,372, which means that 6 times 4,562 equals 27,372. I know this is probably right because it's 27,372 is pretty close to my estimated answer of 30,000. Now you try. Use the area model to solve 6 times 3,245. Pause this video while you solve. Great job! You just found out that 6 times 3,245 is 19,470. And maybe you even figured out that answer was reasonable because you estimated 6 times 3,000 equals 18,000. Today we just reviewed how to use the area model strategy to help solve one-digit times four-digit multiplication problems.